Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. Salesforce is combining Experience Cloud's speed to value with Interaction Studio's industry-leading personalization and real-time interaction management. This allows Salesforce customers to elevate digital experiences to meet the high demands of today's consumers at the one-to-one -one level. Experience Cloud reinvents the customer experience with actionable, data-driven sites, portals, and mobile apps, all built on top of the world's number one CRM. And now with Interaction Studio, Salesforce customers can personalize the experience wherever it happens at the individual level based on affinities, intent, known customer history, and more. As you build new digital experiences, you can easily include consistent, maximally relevant personalization across your websites and apps. Then connect them with offline moments that continue the consistent customer experience. This is all made possible with a solution kit, a step-by-step -step guide. I'd like to turn it over to Sergey for a demo. Hi, my name is Sergey Gadzanov, and I'm a product manager at Salesforce Interaction Studio. This solution kit is a detailed step-by-step -step guide that describes how to easily integrate two platforms together and start using AI-powered personalized recommendations from Interaction Studio on your Experience Cloud websites. So let's have a look at the demo. We are in Experience Builder UI. As mentioned before, our solution kit includes examples of the two Interaction Studio components that can be easily added to the Experience Cloud website. Let's start by adding a user data capture component that will share information of a currently logged in user with Interaction Studio. This component does not require any additional configuration on the Experience Cloud website and has to be added to all of the pages. Therefore, we recommend adding it directly to your page templates. Now let's add our personalization component to the website. This component is a placeholder for AI-powered personalized recommendations from Interaction Studio. The only thing you have to configure for this component is a content zone identifier. This identifier should be used in your Interaction Studio sitemap as a content zone selector. I would like this component to show a personalized banner with a call to action button, and I used one of our Interaction Studio global templates for that. My sitemap has been already configured, and I start getting personalized content from Interaction Studio right after the content zone property of the component is defined. You can add as many personalization components to your page as you need. Just make sure that all of them are using different content zone identifiers. Let's add another personalization component and use a different content zone for it. This time we would like to show personalized product recommendations to our end users. Component is now configured and we start getting product recommendations directly in the Experience Builder UI. Now let's have a look at a published version of the website. This is how the end users will see it. Both of the components received personalized content from Interaction Studio and rendered it on the website. Let's log in to the website. Data Capture component received information of the logged in user and sent it to Interaction Studio. The content of our banner has changed based on the personalization logic we define in Interaction Studio. Thanks for your time today, and we hope that the Solution Kit will help you easily integrate Experience Cloud and Interaction Studio. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.